All right, everybody, it is Alfie and ankle weights with our, yes, our intense fit lower body workout. Alfie, are you excited? Do you want to try this ankle weight on? Oh, yes, he's like, I am fired up for new ankle weights. Yes, we've got a whole bunch of new merchandise. I'm so excited. And guess what? When you download the app BTES, you can actually earn points for doing daily activity like your workouts, sharing recipes, doing your longest streak, and you can actually spend those points in our store on things like our brand new ankle weights. Isn't that right, Alfie? But they can't have you. Maybe we should actually do like eight and a half an hour, 30 minutes with Alfie on there as well. All right, guys, so if you are ready to feel the burn in your lower body, grab those ankle weights, grab your weights, and let's get cracking for today's epic lower body workout. Are you ready, Alfie? Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with our workout. First exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna bring all of that weight onto our left leg. We're gonna push down into that heel. We're gonna extend that weight out in front and then we're gonna squat down and as we stand, we're gonna bring that leg out to the side, bring it all the way back through. So you squat down, arms come out and then push down into that supporting leg and then come all the way through. Really want you to get that motion every single time. So really push down into the ground. Now stand up into that supporting heel, squeeze the glute and tap the leg down. I got modifications for every single exercise, so there is no reason not to stick with me and get through this full workout. All right, here we go. So extend that leg all the way through. Now push that knee out to the side as you stand up, lifting up. Now squeeze the glute, spread those toes nice and wide and release all the way down. Here we go. It's going to be intense today, but we're going to take it slow and controlled to make sure that we are really getting the burn with every single rep and gently release. You should already be able to feel it. I'm telling you these ankle weights are a game changer you can feel it immediately so you're going to get quicker results in shorter the amount of time all right we're going to take it straight over to the other side so push that knee out to the side stand up nice and tall and extend and squeeze the glutes the goal here is as you extend that leg forward push this knee out to the side you push the knee out you stand up and then you squeeze that glute at the top really get that full range of motion all right here we go inhale through your nose and exhale with strength and all the way through, that's it. Push that knee out. Now stand up, heel is into the ground. Spread those toes nice and wide and gently release all the way down. Here we go, 20 seconds on this side. Push up nice and tall. You're gonna have one side that's just a little bit stronger than the other. So no worries, just that side that feels a little bit more like it's trembling. You get to work extra hard. All right, inhale and exhale. Let's take it all the way down. Push that knee out to the side and extend all the way up to the top for three two, one, and release. All right, taking these legs nice and wide, by the way, we've got 45 seconds of exercise, a 15 second rest, a couple of exercises that we're gonna go through twice, so you're gonna get nice and familiar with them. We're gonna take it down here, and we're just gonna squat, pulse it out. Here we go, so push those knees out to the side. If you're like, hey, I wanna take it to another level, you can add in your squat jumps right here, so you can add in a little squat jump. That's it, you could take it to five little pulses, and then you can add in a nice little jump, and yes, with those ankle weights on. I tell you what, you are gonna feel it. Push those knees out to the side, pull that belly button in nice and tight. Maybe just give yourself two little jumps, one and two, and then take it back to those pulses. All right, chest is lifted up. Now breathe through this. We are talking about how to overcome self-doubt today. Yes, raise your hand if you're like, I've had just one ounce of self-doubt today, right? It's such a normal emotion. It's a normal human thing. Push down to the ground and squeeze, and we're gonna work on overcoming it today. It doesn't happen overnight, but with hard work, dedication, we can crush through anything. All right, we're gonna take it into single leg donkey pulses. So let's put our left leg down nice and flat. We're gonna lean forward, and we're gonna take it into little pulses up and down. So we're gonna take it nice and slow. So yes, it's a pulse, but it is a slow pulse. I'm going to flex that heel. Now bend that front leg a little bit more. Pull that core in. Ribs are down. Both of your hips are facing towards the end of the mat, right? So try not to open up those hips. Spread those toes nice and wide onto the ground. Bend that leg a little bit more. And here we go. Core is pulled in. Drop those shoulders. Think about a nice straight line from your head all the way through to your hips. That's it, past your shoulders. Now lift up that leg a little bit more. Bend the front leg, feel the glute working. You've got this, come on. Inhale and exhale for three, two, one, and gently release. Now, 
If you cannot feel that, it's probably because you don't have these ankle weights on because it is alive. The butt is alive just doing these. Oh my goodness. You're going to feel such a difference. Let's take it over to the other side. Nice, big, strong bend on that right leg. And here we go. Up and down. Belly button is pulled in. And really just think about extending that leg out to the back. Here we go. You're doing so good. We are just going to keep on working through every single exercise that we are doing together is going to build strength. It's going to build a bit more determination. It's going to get us to overcome those limiting beliefs and that self-doubt. Now, push that knee a little bit more. Bend it, lifting up through the chest. Now reach that heel higher up to the sky. Slow, controlled pulses. It's all about that intensity, that intense burn in your booties. Come on, here we go. Really flex that foot. Feel it in the booty for three, two, one, and gently push those feet down and then squeeze those glutes. All right, nice work, everybody. We've got those three exercises. We're gonna go through those twice. So remember, first exercise, we take it down into that squat, lifting up over to the side. First time's a practice, this time is the real deal. Here we go. So push and squeeze, bring it all the way back through. So many times we have moments of doubt in our brain, right? It comes from internal, it comes from when we're looking at other people, we have that comparison, we feel like, oh my goodness, like, how are they doing this? And I can't do that. We know why am I not where I'm at? But it's all about us believing in ourselves. How do we get more belief? How do we overcome that self-doubt? Well, I know it's really hard and it's uncomfortable, but it's actually in action. The only way that we can show ourselves that we are capable is actually by doing it, right? So first of all, you've got to have that powerful conversation with yourself to say, I am going to give it a go. All right, just like we're doing right here, we are upping our weights, we're trying something new, we're getting a little bit off balance with the ankle weights, right? Because it's something new. So we've got to come over that self-doubt. How do we get over the self-doubt of knowing if these ankle weights are going to make us feel unbalanced or not? Well, you have to do one thing. We have to try it, right? Everything stems from action because when you take more action, you're going to get more results. And when you get more results, you get more belief, right? You get more belief in yourself. And that self-doubt of like, oh, this isn't possible, starts to dwiver away. But when we don't take any action, when we don't try anything, we don't go for it, we reinforce ourselves that it's not happening, that it's not possible. And therefore, we have more self-doubt, so we take less action. So it's either the wheel of success or the well, the wheel of like de-success, right? So we get to choose, are we gonna take action and go for it? Or are we just gonna sit there and watch and wish that we were going for it, all right? Two different ways to think about it. So let's take these legs nice and wide. And remember, let's give yourself credit right here. You are here, you are showing up for the workout. It doesn't matter what's happened in the past. What matters is right now and that you are here. So let's push those knees out to the side and take it into those low little pulses. Now remember, if you wanna add in those squat jumps, add them in, maybe you just add in a couple, right? And then you come back to those pulses, pushing those knees out to the side, lifting up through your chest and saying, I got this, I can. And when you are surrounded by other amazing people in this community, guess what? You're gonna feel more energy. You're gonna have less self-doubt because you have so many people saying, you can, you got this. Like, hey, I wanna lose 20 pounds, I wanna lose 30 pounds, right? You have this thing like, can I do this? Well, if you are surrounded by people that are constantly saying, you can, you got this, you're amazing, keep going, what do you think your brain is gonna do? It's gonna feel amazing, right? But if you're hanging around people who are saying, yeah, don't worry, you can eat this and you can eat that and you don't need to worry about worrying, you don't need to worry about working out, what's gonna happen? You're gonna have that same feeling. All right, let's take it into those donkey kicks. One of my favorite exercises right here. In three, two, one, let's go. I really want to bend that left leg. Now hips facing straight towards the end of your mat. Now focus on something. Probably right down in front of you is gonna help the most with your balance. Now try and keep that leg lifted. The higher that you can keep that leg lifted, the more that you're gonna work the full part of your lower body. That's it, squeeze those glutes nice and tight. Inhale through your nose, drop those shoulders down and breathe. That's it, here we go. Inhale through the nose, exhale everything out. That's it, really think about pressing that heel up to the sky slow and controlled pulses. It's not about fast, tiny little pulses. It's about that control. Belly button's pulled in. You've got this for five. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Step down gently. 
and squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. All right, we're always getting that extra squeeze, working on those glutes, my friends. All right, all right, to the other side. Give me this last 45 seconds with this exercise, and then the BTS girls, we're gonna keep on going. All right, here we go. Tiny little pulses, slow and controlled. Now bend that front knee more, lean into it, spread those toes nice and wide, push those heels down onto the ground, drop those shoulders, belly buttons pulled in, and here we go. Come on, lifting up through the chest, squeezing that core, ribs are down, inhale through your nose, exhale everything out. Come on, here we go, you've got this. Bend that front knee, drop those shoulders down, and lift up. Come on, here we go. Get that strength, last part, do not quit now. This is where the results start to kick in. This is where the booty starts to form. We got this for five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, gently stand all the way up. Give yourself a squeeze and release, boom. And like I said, this is just the first part of the workout. The full workout is on the BTES app. So you haven't downloaded it yet, go check it out. It's unbelievable, you're gonna get daily workouts, it tracks your progress, tracks all the workouts that you do, and you're gonna have so much fun being part of our community on the BTES app. You guys did amazing today. Check out some of my other workouts that I have available on my channel. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications so that you never miss a workout. And I will see you next week for our next workout. Amazing job, everybody. And let's work on overcoming that self-doubt. Love you guys.